Hi, I'm Dave from Special Fork, and one of my favorite go-to meals is pasta carbonara. I love this dish because there are only a few ingredients, and in the time it takes you to cook the pasta, I'm going to get all the prep work done, and then it's time to eat. So to start off, I've got my pasta boiling. I have my pan heated over medium-high heat, and I'm going to add in pancetta. Now, you can also use bacon if you want to substitute. And what we're going to do is we're just going to cook this uh, until it's a nice golden brown, and then we'll pour out some of the fat. So the pasta is done. So the first thing I'm going to do, let's turn this off. I'm going to reserve some of the pasta water for the sauce. And let's be careful not to burn ourselves here. Okay, the pasta, I'm going to go ahead and drain. And in my colander, you see I already have some frozen peas. So what I'm going to do is drain the pasta water directly over these frozen peas, and that's going to thaw the peas out. So it's a nice little trick. There we go. So let's give this a little shake. Get all that excess water out. And now I'm going to add it back with the pancetta. Just give it a quick stir. And now what I'm going to do is bring together the pasta sauce. So here I've got some uh, egg yolks. I'm just going to mix those up. And now I'm going to take my reserve pasta water and I'm going to bring that slowly together with the egg yolks. Now if you uh, are uncomfortable using raw eggs, you can go ahead and substitute in uh, pasteurized eggs. A bit more. Okay, now I'm going to add in my cheese. Keep mixing that up. And now it's time to bring it together with the pasta. Okay, so now all we have to do is mix it up. Let's really get that nice and combined. It's a great smell here. Okay. I'm going to give it a little bit of salt and pepper to season. Stir it up again. And let's give it a quick taste. Check on that seasoning. Wow, it's perfect. So all we have to do now is plate. And make sure to get, again, that good pea and pancetta mixture. Let's get a few more in here. I'm going to then garnish with a little bit of fresh parsley. And that's it. It's time to eat. For more recipes and ideas on your smartphone, go to specialfork.com.